Keeping chickens is fun, easy, and very gratifying. And with a few basic things, you can have chickens in your yard in no time. I built this coop out of scraps that I had in the garage. Although it's very basic, it's very efficient. And when you build a chicken coop, there's four basic things that you need. It's a nesting box, a roosting bar, a water trough, and a feed trough, and that's basically it. But I built in an extra feature that I want to show you as soon as I let these chickens out. I built this little bridge that we use to let the chickens come and go. And it works quite well. well. Let me get the ladder out of the way so I can show you some of the features that I was just telling you about. These are the nesting boxes I built, which is basically a box with a divider in it. They're 16 by 16 inches each. And I built a little face on here so the eggs would not roll forward. I've tilted the bottom so they roll backwards so it's easier to get them from the backside. I've got my little ramp that I built here to make it easy for the chickens to go in and out of the nesting box. And it also allows them to get onto their roosting perch here that I put in the middle very easily. The water trough that I've used is basically a, a plastic rain trough that I got from a local hardware store. I took another piece and put it upside down to use kind of like an umbrella to shield from any droppings so they don't go into the water. One of the best features that I built into this chicken coop is this trough that you see underneath here. It's nothing more than a piece of plastic that I bowed a little bit, attached at this end and slanted towards that end. That way, once or twice a week, I just take the garden hose, take out the chicken droppings out of the bottom of the cage, flows into that bucket, and I have a bucket full of all organic fertilizer and my shrubs love it. All right, and then the last thing I wanna show you is this container over here. This little black container is nice and airtight. It's where I keep all of the chicken pellets. I cut this little door here in the back with a hinge to make it easy to access the feeding trough, which I just top off once or twice a week. Simple as that. Then I built this simple little latch door so I can easily access the nesting box. And here's one of the benefits of having chickens is fresh eggs every day. Chickens love fruit and vegetable scraps, so nothing goes to waste in our kitchen. Here, girls. Come on. Here, girls. You can order chickens online as well, but know that the minimum order is usually for 25. That works out best if you have friends and neighbors to split your order with. Before you order any chickens, though, make sure you check with your county ordinances. Most will allow you to have hens, just no roosters. That's not a problem, though. Chickens will lay eggs just fine without the roosters. You only need the rooster if you want the egg fertilized and to raise baby chicks. Baby chickens need to be kept warm. We used a 10 gallon aquarium with a 40 watt light bulb on one end so that the chicks could get warm as needed. If you wanna raise them as pets, be sure to handle them and get them used to human contact. This results in having feathered friends in your yard that are like having little garden buddies. They also like to sit in your lap. Chickens have their own natural sundial built right into them. So when the sun begins to set, they automatically head back to the coop and roost on their own. I just follow to close the door for their own protection. Once you've had chickens, the only question you'll ask yourself is why didn't I get them sooner? The first chickens were domesticated in Asia thousands of years ago. Since then, they've made their way into the hearts of people around the world and are often found as a subject of art, including art of the Southwest. If you're interested in collecting Native American folk art, there are a few things you should know to make sure that your pieces are authentic. Many pieces come with a certificate of authenticity, but that's not always the case. So be sure to check any piece for an artist's signature. Be sure to buy either directly from the artist or from a reputable dealer, gallery, or trading post. Not only will you have a sculpture to enjoy for many years to come, you'll be supporting a tradition of art among Native Americans. Wooden chickens don't eat a whole lot, and they're almost as fun as real ones. 